All right, insiders, we're back with another news flash. Let's get into it. First up, we have Susan's quarterly blog post. This time, she's decided to focus her blog post on the priorities for 2021, for the whole year. And they are in five different areas. The first is expanding the creator economy. The second is living up to our responsibilities. The third is teaching people to learn new skills through YouTube. The fourth is building for the future of YouTube. And the fifth is to work closely with governments as we confront complicated regulatory issues. Really interesting stuff there. I really enjoyed reading it myself. Take a look at the link in the description if you wanna read through. Next up, we have a reminder. Last November, we announced that we would be deprecating the YouTube channel page integration within Google Analytics. Creators who have their channels linked through Google Analytics will stop seeing new data about their channel flowing through. Two things to remember. The first is historical data, still there, you can still download it. The second is that there are no changes to YouTube Analytics, which remains the best tool to analyze your performance. Next up, we have an experiment. Now, this is a test around comments. What we're talking about here is hiding comments which are potentially offensive so that creators just don't have to interact with them if they don't wish to do so. Now, where you can find these comments, if you want to take a look at them, is under hidden comments, an option under the held for review tab. That's gonna be found in the bottom of that tab. When a creator selects that option, they'll be provided with a message. And what that message will ask is confirmation that they really want to read these comments, obviously, because they might be a bit upsetting. All right, that's about it. But before we go, we're gonna take one of your questions and answer it, an answer provided directly from the team in YouTube that works in that area. And what area is that? That is clips. We're delighted that everybody's finding it fascinating. They seem to be liking it. And a reminder, if you missed that video, you can find it on the channel and you can find it in a link in the description below. Also, Creator Insider is one of those channels that you can use to send clips so you can test it out as much as you want on this very channel. Now, this week's question comes from Recall who says, this is a great feature that is needed for the future of live stream on YouTube. The only issue I have is that there is no section on the creator's channel with all the clips viewers are creating. There must be a place where people can go and watch their favorite creator's clips and creators should be able to monetize through the clips as well with small five second ads. Very valid question. We chatted with the team and here's their response. Clips will only appear in your library at first. We will be improving the product based on feedback like this. So thank you, Recall. Clips are monetized in the same way as the original video. Great news. You will not have separate monetization controls for clips of your video. So hope that provides the transparency you need, Recall. And that has been your newsflash from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. Thank you very much for watching.